Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video on how to insert and remove Dilapan S dilators for induction of labour. This video is intended for healthcare professionals and will outline the two main Dilapan S insertion techniques, using a speculum and without a speculum, also known as a digital insertion. So let's begin. Typically, four to five Dilapan S dilators will need to be inserted. Once consent has been obtained to complete the Dilapan S insertion, Position the patient in a way that will help you access the cervix by using a pillow, a wedge, or a lithotomy bed if available. Dial-up-n S can be inserted using a speculum or via digital insertion. You should primarily decide which technique to use based on which you are most confident with and the patient's anatomy. Other considerations may include cervical position, station of the fetal head, or maternal preference. The equipment you will need for either method of insertion are a pair of sterile gloves, sponge forceps, sterile water or gel lubricant, a light, and some unopened Dilapanis dilators. For a speculum insertion, the only additional equipment required is the speculum. To perform a speculum insertion, grasp the speculum with your dominant hand. Your index and middle fingers should surround the blades, and your thumb should rest against the back of the thumb lever to keep the tips of the blades closed. Let your patient know that they will feel you examine them, then place the blade tips against the lower wall of the vagina to avoid contact with the urethra and avoid touching the clitoris or pinching the labial skin. Insert the closed speculum slowly at a 45 degree angle downwards towards the small of the patient's back whilst maintaining downward pressure until resistance is met, and then pull back slightly. Secure the speculum in place by tightening up the screw on the handle. To securely grasp the first dilator, make use of the grooves and the sponge forceps to align with the grooves on the dilator handle so that it's securely held in place. The sponge forceps should be used when performing either a digital or speculum insertion to gain you the additional length. This will help you insert the dilators through both the external and internal OZ, helping to avoid funneling of the cervix and unsuccessful cervical ripening. The speculum should be opened and secured to allow visualization of the cervix. Then slowly insert the first lubricated dilator through the cervix in a straight line. It is important not to twist the dilators or place them at an angle as the patient will feel this to be uncomfortable. For the first dilator, leave approximately one centimeter of the brown part of the rod outside of the cervix. This can then be used as a guide to help place the next dilators alongside it. If the first dilator is already inserted up to the handle, it could be difficult to insert the additional rods. If this is the case, carefully pull it back slightly using the forceps until you can see or feel some of the brown rod. Continue inserting the remaining dilators through both the external and internal OS. Check that only the plastic handles can be visualized outside of the cervix. Regardless of the cervical length or station of the fetal head, the whole length of the brown dilators should be within the cervical canal to avoid funneling. You may need to adjust the first dilator by inserting it fully to achieve this. Remove the speculum carefully and slowly to avoid dislodging the dilator handles. When closing the speculum, be careful not to pinch the skin or pull the strings, which could also dislodge the dilators. You may wish to perform a gentle VE after the speculum has been removed to ensure that no dilators have been dislodged. The Dilapan S dilators typically achieve most of their diameter expansion at 12 hours. Therefore, the optimum removal time is between 12 to 15 hours. To remove the dilators, Gently pull on the strings and avoid twisting them. A speculum isn't usually necessary. They will typically come out in a clump together once they are dilated. Take a note of the number of dilators removed and check this against the number that were inserted. If performing a digital insertion, again ensure the rods are held securely in the sponge forceps. Proceed as you would when performing an ARM as if the sponge forceps and dilator are like an amni hook. Similarly to an amni hook, locate the cervix and run the dilapan S along your finger until you are through both the external and internal OS. You may feel some resistance and a pop sensation as you do this. Continue the same process as advised for a speculum insertion until all dilators are inserted. Keep hold of the cervix with your finger throughout the procedure for patient comfort. It may be helpful to ask a colleague to place the additional dilators in the sponge forceps until you are comfortable with doing this yourself. As with the speculum insertion, ensure that the dilators are all fully inserted and that only the handles remain outside the cervix and all plastic handles are aligned. 
Make a note of the number of dilators inserted and remind the patient what they can and cannot do while the rods are in situ. Thank you for your attention. For additional educational resources, FAQs and more, please visit the Dilopan S website.